Hey guys, James Pyle here with Awareness Elevation. And I just wanna encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you're not already. Make sure that you do hit the like button on this video and come on, leave us some comments about what you guys think of the subject matter that we're going to cover today. And in this video, we're going to talk about ending self-judgment. That's right, the world is hard enough on you, why should you be so hard on yourself, right? Well, oftentimes, a lot of self-judgment comes from societal conditioning as well as things that we experience in childhood as we're growing up. We want to be the best person that we can be. We want to be that child that makes their parents proud and gets the attention of others and does well and is popular, right? You know, at least that's the conditioning here in America that a lot of times is placed on the youth right has to do with popularity and striving to achieve excellence in you know amongst your peers and impressing your parents and making them proud well one of the things that can actually hold people back the most is this critical self-judgment of self right and what i mean is is that we can actually be terribly hard on ourselves and we can be our own worst critic as is true in life right However, there's a big difference between being our own critic in a positive way to help us see our blind spots and continually transform and increase our self-awareness versus being so hypercritical of ourselves that we actually prevent ourselves from making any sustainable progress or even really getting going in anything that we want to desire. So first and foremost, one of the things that we need to do to end self-judgment is actually to take expectation off of the table. That's right. We need to go ahead and remove the expectation that we're setting on ourselves that are unrealistic, that are causing us to fail, and then judging ourselves for failing. For instance, in my life, one of the things that I used to do is I would set these like insanely audacious and unrealistic goals and then never sit and create the plan for how I would attain those goals, right? So then what would end up happening is I wouldn't end up having like tangible steps to start taking action on things and then days and weeks and eventually months would go by and I wouldn't have made any progress on the goal. And then would become the crippling self-judgment cycle that I would begin where I would begin judging myself based on my inability to attain the goal that I had set and oftentimes I was judging myself without even fully actualizing and accepting my lack of awareness in that I hadn't ever broken things down into a tangible step-by-step -step pattern and process to have the game plan for how I was gonna achieve those goals, right? So then I would beat myself up, I would get down on myself, I would you know, tell myself I'm no good and all of those negative things. And that actually would, would continue and perpetuate the cycle of me not achieving what I needed to, right? Because I was so critical, so hypercritical of myself, this self-judgment was preventing me from getting traction, right? And maybe you've experienced something similar. Maybe you have aspired to, you know, pick up a new habit or a daily practice or achieve something in your life and you've fallen short and then you end up judging yourself for it, right? And one of the actual biggest contributors to, to self-judgment is actually judging others, right? Because it's so easy for us to judge someone else when we're sick of judging ourselves, right? So when we have this bad habit of, of hypercritical self-judgment that can prevent us from being successful in the things we endeavor in, then we actually, it also plays out into us being hypercritical of others and the people around us, right? So one of the things that we can do to increase our awareness of our self-judgment is my favorite activity. Can you guess what it is? That's right, journaling, guys. Grab a paper and pen and sit and journal some things down. Journal down some of your more recent failures, some of the things that you had set an expectation in and then you didn't achieve that expectation. And then also journal down, how did you talk to yourself? Like that, that most important conversation that we have in our entire life is with ourselves, right? So how did that conversation go when you became aware of or you reminded yourself of the fact that you didn't hit the target that you had set, right? What was your self-conversation like? Were you positive and uplifting to yourself or were you hypercritical and almost, in a sense, berating to yourself, right? Because it's, again, how we talk to ourselves, this is the one most important conversation we will ever have in our entire lifetimes. So it is very, very of utmost importance that we talk to ourselves in a positive manner. 
We speak positivity over our life and we have this internal dialogue with ourselves that is based on positivity, right? So once you have awareness of some of the failures that you've had and how you talk to yourself, then review those expectations. Take a moment and write down what were the things that you were expecting and then didn't occur, right? And then write down why those things didn't occur. Like for instance, if I was expecting to achieve this goal, but I didn't do the daily work to achieve it, well then why would I have any expectation that I would actually achieve that goal, right? Unless it's the wrong expectation. So just be aware of how we can check our expectations and how we can increase our awareness through journaling to find out areas where we have been hypercritical of ourselves, we've been judgmental of ourselves, and we can make the conscious decision to go ahead and just flick that switch off. Turn the self-judgment switch off. Allow yourself to be vulnerable with yourself, allow yourself to be authentic with yourself, and just allow yourself to be you, right? Stop being so hypercritical and judging yourself based on some unrealistic expectation. Focus your mind and your life with an attitude of gratitude, focusing in the things that you do have that you are grateful for, and those things will continue to expand and grow versus self-judgment, thus leading to judgment of others, thus leading to a lower dismal life and not living your best life as your best self. So I hope that this video has been helpful for you guys to increase your self-awareness and to actually get you guys a tangible action plan for what you can do to transform your mindset, to go ahead and get that next level, that next upgrade of self-awareness of where we're being hypercritical, where we're being judgmental of ourself, and then we can go ahead and just turn that switch off and just end that self-judgment right there on the spot once we are hyper aware of where we've been critical of ourselves and where we've judged ourselves in the past. And then we can make the conscious decision to just show up as us, be our authentic, raw, real, vulnerable self, and watch our lives transform with gratitude and positivity and love. So I hope you guys have found this video helpful today. If you did, hit the like button. Come on, leave me some comments about what you guys think. And as always, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so you can stay up to date on all of our videos as they're released. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you in the next one.